Well, at one point you were also doing extortion. Yeah, that was a bit later on, uh, uh, like towards like the early 70s, you know, that uh, the extortion part came in, you know. And I and at the, at the time, I didn't look at it as extortion. You know, I still looked at it as just, you know, uh, another part of, you know, robbery. You know, I didn't see it as extortion, you know. But that's what it was. Okay, explain to me how you would extort somebody. Uh, you know, I mean, it's it's been it's been times when I would, you know, you would, you know, lay something on them kind of heavy, like uh, uh, how much money you got? You know, I mean, I heard you're getting a lot of money, man. Uh, you know, let me get this, let me get that. You know, that's that's the extortion, or even just. A matter, I mean, a, a way a person can look at a person, you know, uh, guys sometimes would see certain guys, man, and if they give them a certain look, you know, it injects that fear, you know, but I didn't look at that as being extortion at that time, but looking back, that's exactly what it was. Well, there was a situation where you ended up getting into a shootout with the police. Yes. Um, we had... Uh, a friend of mine had uh, somebody had told us that a number back him had a lot of money in his house. And uh, we went to rob him, but he was coming out of the house with the female at the time. And uh, I was trying to get him back into the door, you know, and uh, he was resisting. So I fired my pistol and it was I, it was a. Um, a car that came back. It wasn't a regular uniform police car. Didn't even know it at the time, you know, and he heard the shots and he said, police. So, you know, I still didn't believe that it was the police. So, you know, when they was reaching for theirs, I reached for mine. I mean, I just went on and, you know, no one was hit, you know, and I was ultimately uh, arrested for that. Right. And you got sentenced to three to nine years. Three to nine years, exactly. Okay. So you ended up being put in Lorton's central facility, a.k.a. The Hill. Yeah, The Hill. There you go. And at that point, you actually formed a crew called the Youth Center Mob. Well, actually, the Youth Center Mob came from the Youth Center. That's another part of Lorton. It's in Lorton, Virginia. Uh and it's where the guys would, that had youth facts, youth acts, you know, uh, from 16 to 26. So I, I had already been there on there. So they sent me there first to finish up my uh, my backup. And uh, we developed that youth center mob from the youth center. And some things happened at the youth center. So they shipped maybe about 20 or 30 of us out of the youth center to on the hill. Now, when we got on the hill, well, we heard stories prior to going over there how the older guys were raping uh, some of the younger guys. You know, uh, for instance, you know, certain guys that left there to go to Lawton, we would hear, we, you know, we would later hear that, man, you know, such and such and such just got raped over there, you know. So when they send about 19 or 20, it might have been 30 of us over there. We just hit the ground like, hey, ain't none of that happened. We protecting all of the young guys. We're going to stick together. And that's what we've done. So we became the youth center mob. Got it. And I mean, was rape a thing during those times? Oh, like, man, it was commonplace, man. Honestly, it, uh, it was. It, I mean, you could walk out your, 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 your dormitory and see somebody grabbing somebody two or three guys throwing a coat over their head, you know, and taking them into a dorm, and you have 20 or 30 guys lined up to uh, to rape them, <laughs> you know. So it, right. it, it, it mean, was commonplace, you know. Right. For anyone who thinks prison isn't that bad, uh, this story right here right. <laughs> will, will, will make you think otherwise. 